Hi everyone, welcome and thank you for joining me today. So today I wanted to share a card design with you. Um, it may or may not be out there already. So this, I don't know, I've just had this idea and I uh, set about creating it myself. Um, so yeah, not sure if it's completely new idea or not. I know there are similar sort of ideas out there. Um, so yeah, but I wanted to share this one with you today because it's one that focuses on using um, designer series paper um, and allowing you to use both sides on the one project without cutting it. So like as in cutting it and flipping one, um, one, one piece. So what, um, because there are so many beautiful patterns of um, designer series paper where we enjoy both designs, you know, that are on, you know, that back up against each other and we can't decide which one to use. So, um, yeah, I really like ideas, card design ideas, where we are able to showcase both. So, um, today I'm using the new, um, a latte love or a little latte, um, suite, which, uh, just launched recently in the online exclusive section of the, um, online store. Um, so these are available now for, um, for a while. So, um, but of course this card design, you can use whatever your favorite is. Um, what I like about this card design is that, uh, sorry, this designer paper is that it has loads of, um, you know, beautiful sort of designs that are all, you know, that coffee, you know, swirly stuff on top. Um, yeah, that, yeah, just beautiful. And then, of course, there's a couple of sheets where the actual die set um, like some of the frames from the dies coordinate to, to punch out a die cut out. And yeah, so of course it has, um, polymer stamps to go with the dies and this gorgeous paper. So, and then the other side is equally as beautiful and just as hard to decide which one you want to use. So, yeah. Lovely, cute stuff. Look at all these gorgeous coffee cups. And of course, what's a coffee cup without, you know, your coffee rings marked left behind. So yeah, anyway, um, because I do want to focus on creating the actual card today, I've gone ahead and prepared my elements already so that we can finish the card off quickly. But I really want to just focus on getting that cut section of the card base done. So, and all the, you know, the sharing some tips on how I go about creating it and hoping that that will make it easier for you. Um... So what we're basically going to do is just cut through a couple of layers to create a window. Now, sounds easy enough, and it is easy when you're only working with one layer, but when you've got two and you need to line them up, it becomes a little bit more um, tricky. Or, you, you know, you, you sort of might need a tip or two to, to help get that in, uh, make it easy, shall we say. So, um, to do this, uh, you'll need, you know, a card base, you'll need a layering piece, and I've left, cut mine down so that I've got a nice border around the, the piece, and then my designer paper layers, like, you know, symmetrical as well. So, uh, what you will need for these are a set of dies. Um, now, I'm using two, but you can just use 
you know, one set of nesting dies. So dies that have the same shape and in multiple sizes. So today I'm going to use this large die from the Everyday Details dies die set. So um, yeah, it has some circles and some rectangles and a few decorative elements as well. And what I like about this die, which I think suits this particular um, card design well, is that the cutting frame is actually in the center of the die. And then you've got some decorative elements either side, which allows you to um, die cut an element that comes apart and uh, that you'll use um, separately. And you'll see that in action shortly. But it also leaves a nice little decorative element uh, behind as well. So perfect for the frame that we are creating here. So we're going to use that one. And then I also want another one, I think it's this one, that will layer nicely. Yes, so this frame will sit inside this one, which is what we want. And it's only going to be uh, just a small, yeah, it's only going to be, it, it fits nicely there. So, okay, so these two are our frames. Now... I've got my die cutting machine off uh, to the side here. I'm not going to bring that in. Um, but what I will do is bring my platform in so that we I can show you how I set it all up. Now, we've got, um, I've got my base platform, my bottom cutting plate, my card base. But what I'm going to do, so obviously that's how it uh, folds. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually open it up and you cut from the inside. And that's purely because you will see the decorative layers from the inside. Uh, so we want those to look nicer because on the back side of um, die cut elements, die cutting, they can be a little bit sharper and you know not quite as finished so uh yeah so we're cutting from the side that we're going to see which is the inside now because these dies have straight edges normally what i tell my class uh, attendees is to actually pop it through on an angle so if you were going to simply die cut an element out to use on another project, I would angle my die so that when you pass it through on the straight edge, it's actually going in on an angle. And what that does is allow you a nicer, sharper, cleaner cut with minimal passing through the die cutting machine. So, um, yeah, I just, you, I, I can't quite explain the, the science behind how that pressure mechanism works, but um, I know that that's, you get a much better result than um, when you pass it through straight. Now, obviously, using the full card base, we don't have that luxury today, so we're just going to make sure that we pass it back and forwards through our die cutting machine a couple of times so that everything uh, does punch out. Now, uh, yeah, so what we want to do here is center this so that you get a nice even border all the way around. Um, okay. And then we're going to place our top cutting plate I'm going to use it that way first off uh, we're going to put it on gently and we are going to lift the whole thing up and run that through our die cutting machine so I will be back in a moment okay so here we have our die cut piece I'm just go ahead and pull this all apart So we'll just move that out of the way for now because we don't need that 
until a bit later. So as you can see, this is what I was talking about before. So one side of the die will uh, create an element for you to use on another project. So it's a nice layering piece. And then of course, we are left behind with our beautiful frame. Now, of course, this die leaves a whole stack of little uh, holes, which is really cool, but we just need to poke these out, which is kind of a therapeutic part of um, the process. So what we want to do is make sure that there's no little bits just hanging off um, these. See how they sort of catch there? So you just want to make sure they all are gone and they're not going to flip back over and, you know, cover up those beautiful holes because we want, we want those working nicely. Alrighty. So we'll just get rid of all these little things okay so i don't know if you can see that let me see if i can see this properly let's see it's kind of a little bit sharp here but if you flip it over and have a look you get a nicer finish on this side which is exactly what we're looking for so there you go now so what I'm going to do now is simply attach my layer like that. Now I'm going to use some liquid glue. I am going to fly a little bit blind. Whew, it's warm today, so my glue is super um, runny. So let's just spread some of that out. We don't want to do too much glue because we want to make sure that it doesn't seep through our decorative side. So we're going to stick that on and make it as straight as we can. If you're really not good at doing straight, don't stress. Literally just stick it on crooked, make it crooked so that it hides that it's not supposed to be straight. So there we go. Alrighty, let's just push that down here. And now what we are going to do is grab our second die and bring in our platform back. And we are going to repeat the process, just lining up our die inside that frame there. Now I've got my magnetic platform happening, which means the die wants to go where it wants to go rather than where I want it to go. So we always just move our paper around the platform until the die is happy where we want it to be. There we go. Perfect. So let's just gently put that on and not bump it and pop it through. Alrighty. So let's have a look here. So now we've got a little, nice little, we've got another decorative element for something else. We have our frame. There we go, Nick. So this is gonna, now you can see how it comes together. So we can repeat the process on this side. Oh, just getting rid of some of those extra dots from my platform. <laughs> I always forget to do that, but that's okay. Alrighty. So just going to Normally I always apply adhesive to this piece, but because I've got the, 
the frame for the whole this time, I'm going to do it this way. There we go. So this is a nice, quick and easy way of getting a beautiful card front ready to decorate however you like. And then an inside card front with the second side of the designer series paper ready to go. And because, yeah, we've punched from this side, die cut our card front and layering piece, they, they're just beautifully finished. So now we can go ahead and finish our card however we like. So whatever elements you're using, you can, um, yeah, you can do some really creative things with. Okay, something like that. So I've stamped and colored these with my alcohol markers, the Stampin' Blends. There we go. And I'm adhering these flat so that it doesn't create too much bulk at all. There we go. Now that doesn't feel too bulky at all. So now we can finish off the front of our card. And as I said, this can be any which way you um, you want them to be. So, so I've got a few little cups that I've die cut out here and I'm just going to nest them like they're stacked. Now I've got a coffee plunger here that I have created using the die. And then I've also used a window sheet for the glass um, canister and of course I've got three quarters of a cup here so, so uh, three quarters of the the canister filled with coffee ready to go so yeah I'm not a huge plunger drinking person but it does have its place I know I much prefer an espresso style coffee Okay, I'm just going to pop those on there and that one's going to go over the top and the front like that and then I'm going to sit this one in here. Ooh. And so there you are, there we have it. A card with um, designer series paper facing this way and we have a window that shows the reverse side as well. It's pretty cool. So I hope you give this one a try and you have fun with, um, yeah, creating cards like this one. Thanks for joining me today, bye.